Do you see what I see? A number two pencil. Sure. I guess I can go with that. But what if I told you that I believe that this is the ultimate weapon in the universe? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Josh Coker. Welcome to my channel, Polymathics, the YouTube channel that helps you become a modern day renaissance man. And today, I'm here to tell you why this is no mere pencil. You see, each one of these is like you and I. They each have a story to tell. The question is, whose story are we telling? Let me give you an example. When we were kids and we wanted to build a fort, all we needed was a bed, pull over our chair, throw some blankets on top, boom, automatic castle. Defending against dragons and giants. Or maybe it was a spaceship boldly going where no man had gone before. Or better yet, it was a pirate ship sailing the seven seas in search of treasure and the dirty bilge rats who stole it. The point is, when we were kids, the world was filled with adventure. Now let me ask you this. When you go to work every day, when you stare at a computer screen for hours on end, typing away, do you still feel that same sense of wonder? Probably not. But the question is, what happened? What happened between then and now? What did we lose that we've come so far from off the beaten path? And the answer is actually quite surprising, because it's not what we lost, but rather what we gained. You see, I believe that as the years go on and we grow older, we collect all of these stories from other people. And like pencils in a cabinet, it gets cluttered until we can no longer find our own story or share our message. And you see, the way this happens, is it can happen in multiple ways. They can be passed down from family members, from generation to generation to generation. Or it could be friends or colleagues. But the problem is, each one of these are not made for us. They're mechanical. Or they're too small. Or worse yet, they're whittled down and broken. But have no fear. There is a solution to this problem. And there's only two things you really need to do in order to change this around and get back in charge of your own story. And that's changing your perspective and seeing things as they could be. So let me give you some examples. Not a few years ago, there was a little girl, and by the age of 13, she had been abused, she had suffered a miscarriage, and she'd even been locked up in juvenile detention. I think we all know where that story was going, and it was not a happy ending. It was a grim one. And for most people, that would be the end of the road. They would stop right there because they settled for those old stories. But not this little girl. She decided to throw all of those old, unused, unuseful stories away and use her own. And after a lot of hard work and dedication and years, we all know her now as Oprah Winfrey. That's pretty surprising, right? I know in my own life, 
when I wanted to make a change, I left my hometown and joined the military so that I could travel the world and go on my adventure. But you don't have to make so drastic of a change. It could be as simple as making a new friend or joining a new group. But we have to change our position in order to see things from a different angle. Now normally if I was talking to an audience that was sitting down I would tell everybody to stand up so that they could see me eye to eye and see what I see. But since we're doing this visual, digitally we're going to do this a little differently. So this is what you can see now. But all you have to do is change your position and now you can see what I see because you're viewing it from a different angle. Now let's move you back here. So for those who decide to take this challenge on and change their position and do something new and throw away all those old stories, inevitably you're going to come across problems throughout life and they're not going to be easy they're not going to be simple solutions to them and that's where the second step comes in which is seeing things for what they could be now who here likes to read books or watch movies or listen to music maybe talk on the telephone now, how many of you guys have seen that teenager walking down the street, blowing bubble gum, doing all of those things while talking to their friends, right? We've all seen that. And the, we want to go up to the kid and say, why? But it wasn't too long ago that a well-known polymath and entrepreneur named Steve Jobs asked a different question. He said, why not? And with that one question, he changed the way that humans interact with each other and the world around them. He created the iPhone and eventually the iPad, the tablet. Two innovations that totally revolutionized how we do business. And a lot of people, when I bring this story up, will say, well, yeah, Josh, I get that. But Steve Jobs, he was this incredible guy, very smart, super genius. And although I agree to an extent, he reached his full potential. Each one of us has that same opportunity. And each one of us can do that by asking different questions. One of my favorite speakers, Tony Robbins, always says, that to get better answers you have to ask better questions so the next time instead of asking why ask why not instead of asking how could this happen to me ask how could I do this better how would they do this in the future and you see there you'll find answers there you'll stop focusing on the problem and you'll focus on the solution and you'll no longer see things for what they were or are you'll see things for what they could be and with that that gives you power power to create the future in your own story so again I ask you what do you see do you see what I see because I see the key that unlocks our full potential. This is a wand that harnesses the most powerful energy in the universe, your creativity. And with it, you can share your gift with the world. But you have to see it, not for what it is, but for what it could be. So, as you guys go out into the world and you leave YouTube land and you face challenges and you face problems, 
and, and you start feeling all of those other stories weighing down on you. Throw away the ones that don't work. You don't need them anymore. Unclutter your cabinet. Change your position and see things from a new perspective. And when you're encountering problems, don't see them for what they are, but see them for what they could be. Opportunities for you to share your gift with the world. And I promise you, the next time you look in the mirror, you will see what I see. Not a person going through the daily routine, but rather a hero on their journey in their story, sharing their gift with the world. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Josh Coker. I hope that you liked this speech. I hope that you are motivated. And if, if you liked it, please give me a like. And if you want to hear more speeches like this or information on polymathics, information on sharing your gift with the world, please subscribe to my channel and you'll get all of that information as it becomes available. But until next time, take it easy.